Um, chapter 17 and 18. Um, chapter 17 talks about disorders, and we've been waiting all semester um, to talk about disorders, because um, for some people, personality is the study, and psychology is the study of disorders. Um, but uh, hopefully you'll, you'll understand now that um, really there's a lot to understand and there's a lot to think about with respect to normative development, and that's what we've been doing. But um, having said that, chapter 17 is all about psychological disorders and also the health implications for psychological, um, for personality variables. So um, how those things can affect and, and particularly negatively impact your health. Um, the personality disorders, um, you don't need to get too deep in the weeds on all of the symptom symptoms and that. If you know the main sort of types, um, schizotypal, narcissistic, borderline, avoidant, um, obsessive compulsive, um, if, if you just know sort of the general differences between those, um, that's probably all of the detail that you're going to need for the final exam. Um, feel free to get, you know, as deep into it as you would like if that's something that interests you. Um, the other thing is um, don't uh, don't fall for what your author, I think, calls uh, medical student syndrome. Um, you will see things in all of these descriptions that you have and the people around you have and people that you've known in your past have. Um, don't diagnose yourself and don't diagnose everybody. Um, unless these things are way out to the extreme, it's not a disorder. You know, we all have a little bit of a lot of these things, but when it becomes disruptive to life, that's when it becomes a disorder. So. Um, so don't worry too much if you seem to have some narcissistic qualities or you seem to have some borderline personality qualities. On the other hand, if you need help or you know somebody that needs help, um, then by all means, get the help um, or reach out. Um, if you're a Wake Tech student, if you Google um, uh, Wake Tech and wellness services, there are counseling services that are uh, available to students. And so I would encourage you, if you or anybody you know um, needs those kinds of services, reach out and get in touch with those people. Um, they can really um, be helpful to you and it's part of your um, tuition. So um, if you need more information about that, um, let me know, but they're on the web. Just Google um, Wake Tech and Wellness Services. Um, and then um, your book talks about what, what he calls the bad five. So we've talked about the big five. Um, don't get confused at the very end of the semester between the big five and the bad five. The big five are the really big five and that's something we've been talking about all semester long. So. Um, so that's something. And then also, I, mean, I think it's really interesting with regard to health in the second part of this chapter, um, it turns out based on research that type A personality does not have the kinds of health implications that we thought it did, um, but chronic hostility does. And so I've got a hostility test or an anger test um, for you to take this week just so that you can think about it. It doesn't necessarily mean that, like, I took it and I was a little bit confused